about okay. Greg Johnson, NASA astronaut with a whole bunch of local ties. Greg, thanks for being here. Um, how did you get interested in being an astronaut? Well, it was when I was seven years old uh, in Carroll, Michigan. Mm -hmm. I was watching a black and white TV at my grandparents' house with my brother and sister and uh, watched Neil Armstrong step on the moon. And that's when I got the bug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of us did. Um, you talked to us earlier as well, but, but thoughts to NASA or, or NASA being deprioritized, at least right now. Um, are we focusing on other things as a, as a country? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, yes, of course, we're, we're, we're focusing on other things, but the budget's not going down. Mm -hmm. It's just we're deciding to spend our money in different ways. Mm -hmm. And the, the follow-on to the space shuttle, the Constellation program, was expensive, and um, it had difficulties, and uh, it was going to probably... It was in jeopardy, so I think the president and the administration was kind of looking at other options, and I think that's what they're doing now. The program's not dead, and we're hoping that maybe the private sector can help us find a new design that's going to replace the space shuttle, but right now it's kind of up in the air. So, What was the coolest moment for you in space from the, the slides that you showed us earlier tonight? The coolest moment was actually on the planet. It was right at liftoff. When those solids lit, I could feel the vibration, the acceleration, the light. It was unbelievable. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, you're going on the last NASA flight next year. Could you tell us really briefly to summarize what that, what the purpose of that flight is? Okay, it's not the na last NASA flight, but it's the last shuttle flight. Last shuttle uh, because flight. NASA, we're still sending folks to and from the space station on the Russian Soyuz. Uh, but, um, you know, being last is probably uh, not as important to me as getting to fly a second shuttle flight uh, and the, the mission that we're going on. Uh, taking the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer up, I mean, that, that could be a piece of science that changes the world. And so I'm really excited to be part of that mission. And of course, uh, I, I'm really excited to see the space station complete because once we get up there, it will be, you know, complete. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, I'm looking forward to being up there a second time. It sounds like you guys do a lot of traveling and PR work on behalf of NASA, a lot of speaking to crowds, a lot of photo ops. This is your second time coming and presenting in, uh, in front of people in Empire, right? Mm -hmm. what, what, is, what are these visits meant to you, uh, presenting well, in Northern Michigan? Well, this, this uh, in Northern Michigan, this is about uh, the place that I hope to retire, um, sharing uh, the story about NASA uh, for my sister's village, and I've done some other PR work in Traverse City. Mm -hmm. um, but as an astronaut, I'm required to do other PR work all over the country, and after our mission, we'll probably go on a tour uh, to do a lot of those sorts of things. Um, and it, it's part of the job. I enjoy talking to folks. I like uh, it, getting kids excited about science and space. Yeah. Are you excited to return to Houston tomorrow? Um, I'm excited because my job is in Houston, and uh, <laughs> we're training for the space shuttle uh, mission STS-134. Uh, I do love the beauty and 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 the uh, um, adventure and the weather and the people up in in northern Michigan, though. So, Great. thank you so. Much.